Alrighty guys, so you just got finished watching my Darth Stalker ROM, Darth Stalker ROM <laughs> review for your Galaxy Note 3. Now you guys are like, okay, I must have. But some of you guys out there need a little bit of a hand on how to flash it. Maybe some of you guys are interested in some of the different uh, aroma installer options available for us. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna need to do, obviously with your Note 3 powered on, is connect it to your PC. And after you've downloaded the ROM file itself, make sure that you drag and drop it onto either your internal storage or your micro SD card. From that point, go ahead and power off your device and we're going to boot into recovery mode. Uh, if you guys aren't already running a custom ROM and you don't have the quick um, boot into recovery option for those of you that want to do it manually, press and hold the volume up, power button and home button all at once, which I know is a bit of a stretch, but it's a must. So we're just going to do that until we boot into recovery. Oh boy. Oh, I wasn't holding the volume up button. We're going to have to do this again. Ugh, okay. Just going to have to do that and this. Okay. Let's try that again. Volume up, power, and home button. There we go. Once you see the blue writing, you can go ahead and let go because it is now booting into uh, recovery. Alrighty, so first thing I like to do, uh, as I say every single time I do an, a how to install video, is jumping to install, again, if you're using either TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery, and uh, check your internal storage or your external storage um, for to make sure that the file has actually been pushed to your device, because last thing you need to do, as I always say, wiping the device with no ROM to flash afterwards kind of puts you in a bit of a tough situation, right? So I happen to know that it is, in fact, um, on my little uh, micro SD card here, so we're gonna be using, uh, you guys are gonna be going into installing either internal storage or a micro SD card. In my particular case, I am going to be using USB OTG with my uh, Mi Nova uh, micro SD card to micro USB card reader. Uh, for those of you that are wondering where to get this, because I seem to be getting a lot of questions about it, if you just go to MeNova.com, I believe that's what it's called, or even just Google Mi Nova, M E E N O V A, um, it'll be t you'll, it'll take you to the site. These things are twelve dollars a piece, super duper handy. You can put in any size card you want. So I'm going to be going to install here. Of course, I'll be jumping into USB mass storage like I mentioned before. Uh, here it is here. I'm going to be going into Galaxy Note 3 and ROMs. And of course, as you can see, Darth Stalker Note 3 version 5 zip. So we're going to go ahead and um, now that we've confirmed that it's there, let's go ahead and back out and make sure that we wipe everything because we want to wipe everything. So we're just going to, if you're in TWRP, everything gets automatically selected, uh, wiping data, cache, and of course, Delvic. If you are using um, Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe Dalvik cache, uh, you wipe your um, cache, and of course, um, I believe uh, factory data reset, okay? Uh, but anyway, so we're just gonna go ahead and factory data reset this, wipe everything, that's done. So let's jump back into install and go ahead and flash this ROM. Bam, just like that. The aroma installer will pop, pop up any moment now. All right, so now that we're in the Aroma installer, um, the first several screens are actually just, just ignore it. Um, most of what this is, first things to do to, you know, it's the recommended inst uh, installation method. Create an Android backup, do your factory data reset. Of course, you can always, I always recommend creating an Android backup so I don't get blamed for anything down the road and you can always restore, but I never do. Um, this is just a different Aroma installer theme. I really could care less what it looks like during the installation process. So we'll click next and we're going to agree to the terms and conditions and we'll click on next because that was just the change log. So uh, if you're, if, if this is the first time you're flashing this ROM, you're going to want to select full wipe. Um, if you're just updating from a previous version, you're going to want to select no wipe. And if you just wanted to change some of the apps and add-ons and things like that, that's what you'll be picking. So I'm going to be picking full wipe here. We'll click on next. Some different options in here. Make sure you just click on run ROM install. And then you're going to select the device that you have. So uh, my particular device, these are all the devices that are compatible, right? The uh, N900T, N900A, uh, N900W8 Canadian version, the N900W8, oh, so T-Mobile Galaxy Note 3 Canada, and I have no idea what the difference is between these two. Uh, I'm gonna be picking the T-Mobile one because I know it's most compatible, but there's also um, uh, N9005 or N905, um, 
which is the international one. So anyways, once you've picked your device, go on. Um, so these are the different app, Samsung applications that you can choose from. I'm not going to install any of them, but there's all those different options that you can choose if you want to install those applications. Here we come to the Google applications, right? So obviously I'm going to want Gmail, G apps, Google Now, Google Play Music, Google Plus, don't care about streets, Google Hangouts, I'm going to need and probably going to need Google Play Store, aren't we? Click on next. Uh, some more Google applications. I'm going to want YouTube. I don't care about keep or games, but I do want text to speech and um, we can choose to theme them so do we want to theme those uh, the Gmail app uh, the Gmail application or leave it unthemed I want to theme because I think it looks cool do we want to theme Google now sure why the hell not do we want to theme the play music sure although previously it didn't work for me um, do we want to theme Google Hangouts yep and do we want to theme the Play Store yep and what about YouTube? Sure, why not? Okay, so now we're on to the camera and gallery. So do we want Lenovo Super Camera, uh, the Google 4.4 camera, Explodes Focal Camera, or a Moto X camera? Um, I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. From what I understand, the Lenovo um, camera gallery uh, closes. So I'm just going to choose Moto X camera on this particular instance and the different file managers for you to choose from. I actually prefer ES file manager, but you have several other options in there as well. Uh, and from this point, it's also into stock launchers. Now, if you want, you can notice down here at the bottom that gives you the Google experience launcher. Um, or there's all these other uh, launchers, MIUI, LMT, Nova, um, various different TouchWiz launchers and so on. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick, um, the stock touch. No, actually I'm going to pick the Google experience. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> keyboards, Samsung swipe emoji or Google keyboard. So I'm just going to pick Google. Um, different music players for you to choose from. Uh, so stock music player, Apollo, MIUI or Google 4.4 music player. I'm just going to go ahead and leave all that because I've already chosen to install the Google music player. So I don't know why it's a repeating option. I'm, I'm, I'm not really, I'm kind of confused on that. Uh, some different browsers for you to choose from. So I'm actually going to pick Chrome browser because that's the one I use to sync with my desktop uh, Chrome browser. Um, and here we've got some additional apps, Flipboard, T-Mobile, Visual Voicemail, Attaway, Trickster Mod, uh, which I showed before, Tube Mate, uh, so you can download YouTube videos, not interested in that. Movie Tube, that is one that I was kind of interested because in it's got all those different movies available. Uh, hide It Pro, great app that lets you hide your private stuff. Uh, PixArt, which is a photo editor, DPI changer, so if you guys want to change the DPI of things, you can do that. And of course, T-Mobile Name ID. So I'm good with all those selections. Moving into widgets here, we've got several different options, so you can use... Oh, excuse me. Uh, AccuWeather, transparent AccuWeather, alarm clock, digital clock, dual clock, Yahoo News, and Samsung Active Apps. I'm not interested in either of those or any of those, I should say. Um, uh, would you like to remove the Sony Sketch font? Um, no, I like the Sony Sketch font. Which uh, volume boost sound would you like to choose? So they've got very loud, moderate light, moderate and stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose moderate light. Um, moving on from there, we've got would you like to add the Darth Stalker Note 3 boot sound? I'm going to click yes just to show you guys what it's like, though I'm going to recommend you guys go with no. Um, so we've got which boot animation would you like, the Darth Stalker one or the international one? Of course, I want the cool new Darth Stalker run so we're going to choose that and then we've got different um uh kernels for you to choose from compulsion standard compulsion ultimate or the stock a uh, compulsion kernel is actually developed by the same guy who developed this rom which is awesome and compulsion kernel is uh allows those of us with non-international galaxy note 3s to flash um you know N9005 ROMs onto our non-international uh, non international Note 3 ROMs and then you flash the uh, compulsion kernel afterwards and then it instantly makes everything compatible. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, the whole nine yards. So that's really cool of this guy to be including his own. Well, I guess it makes sense to be including the own kernel, doesn't it? Um, but anyways, the ultimate kernel actually allows you to overclock up to 2.65 gigahertz. Now, the thing with me and overclocking nowadays is that I personally think that it's not necessary because of how fucking fast these devices are these days. So um, I'm just going to to keep mine at the standard compulsion kernel because it still gives us customization options down the road um, and great battery life and of course stability and so on. So I'm just going to be leaving it like that. Clicking next, we can go ahead and begin the installation now. And as you can see, the installation is beginning. This will take about three minutes or so to finish. Once it finishes, I'm going to wait for it to reboot so I can show you guys the boot up animation and sound and that's where we'll uh, end the video already. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, so installation is now complete. We're gonna go ahead and click on next. And as you can see here, reboot your device. Now you can go ahead and uncheck that if you wanna flash anything afterwards. That'll just take you back to the uh, main menu of your recovery, but uh, I have nothing to flash, so we're just gonna go ahead and click finish. This will end up rebooting in just a moment here. 
and uh, we'll be able to show you guys the uh, interesting boot animation that this gentleman's picked and why I recommend you don't choose to include the boot, unless you like loud noises, let's just put it that way. So we'll just give this a moment. So there's the boot animation. Just waiting for the uh, music to kick in. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm actually gonna unplug my little doodad here. Ready? All right. So let's let's do something. Chest bump. Yeah. Let's do the twerk. My guy's naked though. Oh, battery almost popped out. Twerking. Twerking. Anyways, guys, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all I got for you. Um, hope you liked the video. If you did and you found it useful, click that like button down below. And um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Um, I'm just laughing because of the sound. It's just I'm, I'm trying to end the video and this is going on in the background. Uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.